Hey guys, this is Sam and today we're going to be discussing whether or not you should be updating to iOS 8. Every time that Apple pushes out a new version of iOS, there's always, every single time, the topic or question of should I update, should I not, is the time spent doing the update not being even able to use my device at all worth any of the new features that the update might possibly contain. And the same is to be said about iOS 8.0, which is out today on Wednesday, September 17th of 2014. And as always, I've got a couple of suggestions for those of you who may be on the edge of updating or just some advice in general. So if the first scenario is you, if you use iOS 7.1.2 or even a earlier prior version of iOS 7, and you just use iOS 7 to send texts, make calls, use the internet, download apps, play games, whatever, and you don't even know what jailbreaking is or that's something that doesn't sound like something you would be interested in, definitely go ahead and update to iOS 8 as soon as it is available because number one, you'll be on the latest version of Apple's firmware and you'll be able to get a ton of new features on your device. My favorite and probably one of the biggest changes being quick reply and third party keyboard support and all that good stuff. So just to reiterate that, if you use stock iOS with no modifications whatsoever, definitely go ahead and update to iOS 8. However, if you're like myself and you're a fan of jailbreaking, you know what, how awesome jailbreaking is, you know that it's not bad and it's something that you enjoy doing, you've got kind of a tough call this time around because iOS 8 is a pretty big update. Once again, quick reply, third party keyboards, third party notification center widgets, and of course that's just touching the tip of the iceberg here. But you are going to have to make the decision, should I or should I not update to iOS 8? And I'm going to tell you what I would recommend and then what I will actually be doing. If you are jailbroken on iOS 7.1.2 or even just jailbroken on iOS 7 in general, 100% I would recommend staying right where you are because I have been using iOS 8 on my iPhone 5S just to kind of test out the waters on using it on my main device. And in complete blunt honesty, it's been three or four days and I am already bored. Now that could be the fact that there are no notification center widgets out yet and really no third party keyboards out yet because iOS 8 isn't even officially out yet at the time I record this video on uh, I think Monday night the 15th. But when iOS 8 is out there's going to be lots of keyboards and lots of notification center widgets and that's definitely going to have to change the way the scales are looking at as far as should I update, should I not. Now what am I going to be doing? In a perfect world, I would stay jailbroken on iOS 7 and continue to enjoy my jailbreak. However, I only feel it's it's right to show you guys all the cool new features of iOS 8. I only feel that it's my job as a quote-unquote tech reviewer, I guess I would categorize myself as, to show you the new features, to show you awesome third-party keyboards, <coughs> alt keyboard, uh, to show you guys awesome notification center widgets because that's something that I think a lot of you are interested in. So let me know down below in the comment section of this video what you are going to be doing. Once again, just to reiterate once more, I would recommend staying on iOS 7.1.2 if you are jailbroken. If you're not jailbroken on 7.1.2, however, definitely go ahead and update because iOS 8 is a pretty cool iOS upgrade. Anyway, guys, I hope.